Hey, I'm Pat Porter. I'm the broker for Reckland Realty. Here we talk about the rural real estate business and ideas and information to help you better manage and enjoy your own property. And I'm about to make a short video on the three things you've got to remember to have long-term success in the real estate business. All the tactics and tricks and strategies and hacks and it's all in my opinion pretty short term because if these techniques about lead generation about social media engagement about communication about community involvement about follow-up all that kind of stuff it's all good but if it's not put on the right foundation you're just not going to make it long term in the real estate business all these little hacks for modern day real estate coaches tips and tricks and videos and seminars just not going to get you through the tough time when the fire gets hot the three things that i want to remind you to really make long-term success and headway in this business are these number one you got to remember that as a real estate agent no matter how good you are how high profile you are how big a name you are in your community how big a real estate celebrity you are you're just the messenger you're not the principal now that's in a typical situation where you're acting as the listing agent or buyer's agent or you're the broker in a deal where you're not actually an owner of the property which is the situation most of the time for most people remembering that will keep you from making some really bad mistakes it's pretty common in fact i had an interaction with a friend the other day where he had submitted an offer for his client to the broker of another agent of another brokerage that offer was never submitted that guy was sitting on this deal thinking ah that offer is not as good as the one that I'm about to get or may get and so he just kind of sat on that offer and created a big problem he decided that he was the principal and not the messenger it's not our job to decide if an offer is acceptable or not it's not it's the seller's job it's not our job to decide if the terms are acceptable or not it's the seller's job and so our duty is to when we get a valid offered we get a valid communication from a buyer or a buyer's agent another broker is to communicate that fast and efficiently as possible to the seller even if you've just sent them an offer and then 10 minutes later you get another offer that's not as good you don't it's not your decision my decision to go ah that's not nah that's not good i'm not going to give it to the buyer he won't accept it he's already got a better offer on his plate one of the basic rules of real estate is you communicate all offers in a timely manner you do it as fast as you can and folks that is so fundamental so basic hey you can be a real estate rock star and a celebrity and you can be as high on the totem pole as you want to be but at the end of the day be humble enough to remember that if you're going to make it in this business your job is to be the messenger number two your job is to be the fiduciary now i know you have not made it through your real estate courses and tests and all the deals you've done and all the real estate information you've been around and gone without hearing the word fiduciary now it's a pretty highbrow word i know it you know it but the word fiduciary in our world can be boiled down to this remember the, the client's money is more valuable than your commission. That's how I remember it. That's how I communicate it to people. Ah, you say, Pat, I don't like that. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the way it is. When you received your license, you accepted the fact that you owe fiduciary responsibility, fiduciary trust, fiduciary duty to clients. And in a nutshell, that means that their money is more valuable in the deal than your commission. I'm, I'm looking at my computer screen here. A fiduciary is a person who holds a legal or ethical relationship of trust with one or more other parties, persons, or groups. Typically, a fiduciary prudently takes care of money or other assets for another person. And so what that means in real life as a real estate agent is that when it comes down to a crunch time in a deal where things are getting close to a deal coming together or a deal closing, is that it's never our place to keep our that commission so at the top of our mind when this deal closes that we neglect to communicate information to our clients that they need the minute we learn it. Because there could be some things pop up that it is your duty to communicate that may kill the deal. But remember, their money is more important than your commission. It's our responsibility to communicate that. It's our responsibility to keep things confidential for our clients, even though we know that sharing certain little things, certain little things, if they were to leak out, would pull the deal together. But you can't do that. 
Their money is more important than your commission. Let's, let's back up just a little bit. You and I both know that if we live out our business, if we live out our lives in a way that we take care of people, regardless of how it affects us, we do that enough in real estate, the commissions are going to take care of themselves. Deals are going to close. People are going to come to us with their business. I know people, you know people, where that commission right then, right there, that deal in front of them has so blinded them that they will, they will, they will sacrifice everything going forward to get this deal across the finish line. And what's happened is their commission has become more important than the client's money or the client's interest. And that's where businesses fall apart. That's where lives start to crumble. That's where the whole thing starts to break down. Cause you'll get away with that once or twice, possibly maybe even more, but sooner or later, all that's going to catch up and it's all going to tumble down and it's just not going to be worth it. Remember you're the messenger. Remember you're the fiduciary. Hey, the third thing I want to remind you of is to remember you don't get paid until the deal closes. You'd think that everybody understood that, but you know it and I know it. That's just not the case. How many times have we had deals stall because an agent just didn't take care of their business? They just didn't keep things moving along like they should have. Well, it's the title company's job. It's the lender's job. It's the appraiser's job. It's the surveyor's job. It's the inspector's job. No, it's the real estate agent's job. It's our job to manage all that and keep all that moving forward. And sometimes it's a little bit like herding cats, but we still have to do that. If we don't keep things moving forward, stuff breaks down. People forget. Hey, people get lazy. There are a lot of people in the, re in the chain of a real estate closing that get paid a salary. They get paid whether a deal closes on time or not. You and I don't. Remember that. Carve out time in your life and all of the time that you're managing your CRM like your coach said to do and all the time you're setting your appointments and getting your listing presentations together and all the stuff your real estate coaches say to do, which is all good stuff. Remember, you got to carve out time to keep deals moving forward or have somebody on your staff. That's, that's what they do is they keep deals moving forward because you're dealing with so many parties and all those parties kind of have to get, get their stuff done and the act all has to kind of come together at one time to get it across the finish line. How many times have we been waiting on somebody to get a closing across a finish line? I was in the hospital with my wife. She was just having a, a minor medical procedure done, but it was an all day deal. And I was in a waiting room all day waiting on her with her to about six that evening. So 11 hours, I had my phone in my hand. All I did that whole day was email, text, and call title company, every lender, every appraiser, every seller, every buyer. I kept the deals moving forward. I, I have a number of deals that are pending right now. Man, I bumped everybody up. And in doing that, I jumped, bumped into several roadblocks. There were several things that were hung up somewhere and it wasn't until I bumped people up that I got them kind of broke loose. So you got to carve out that time to make sure things get taken care of because you don't get paid until everybody shows up in signs and the closing is in the book. You want some more information about being a good real estate agent? We do our best to provide it. There's some videos right there. Check them out.